This video was made possible by these Patreon supporters. Hello, I'm Jumpsplat120, and this is another vlog. Why am I recording a vlog right now? Well, let's, uh, let's keep it together, Matt. <clears throat> In all seriousness, the single most greatest thing just happened. Okay? Now I've mentioned, I'm not sure if I've mentioned before on, on video, but I, I, I've mentioned to people before just in real life, friends, family, things like that. I really just want a chance. A chance to show somebody that I can act and absolutely blow them the fuck away. Something good. I, I was never saying, oh, just throw me in a Hollywood film. I'll be amazing. Because honestly, I, I don't know if I, I, that would ever work out. Um, just any, like, I, I don't know if I could just, you know, suddenly just do The Revenant. I don't think that would ever work, you know? Something like that is not me. But I was always saying, put me in a film, you know, give me the chance to be in a film that is my sort of character, something that's right up my alley. Put, um, give me the opportunity to take part in something big, something that isn't just like a, like a short 10 minute, you know, short film, something like that. I've always wanted that chance. And... Something else uh, that happened a f well, quite a few months ago was um, I saw that Ready Player One, the book, was becoming a movie. I, when I saw that, I freaked out because I love the book Ready Player One. I thought it was fan-fucking-tastic. I read it and I went, this has to be a movie. This is going to be a movie at some point because it is mind-blowing. It is awesome. It's just, it, it reads like a Hollywood film. And some people are like, Ooh, it's too, too cheesy, it's too simple, blah, 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 blah. It was, it was like candy, is what it was. I mean, there are some books that are meant to make you think. Some books are supposed to make you laugh and cry and things like that. And then there are some books, and books don't do this well. Movies do this well. Books don't do this all that well. Um, there are some books that are just meant to be fun. And this book is fun from start to finish. It's fun, fun, fun. It's just so much fun, okay? It's, it's about virtual reality. If you guys haven't read it, so I highly suggest go read it. But uh, when I read it, I thought to myself, I could totally play Wade, Wade being the main character. I could totally play Wade because Wade is slightly overweight, which I am. I've been, I've been struggling with my weight. I am slightly overweight. Um, Wade is a nerd. I am a nerd. Wade is, you know, about 20, and I thought to myself, if they make the movie in a few, few years, um, I'll be 20, you know, I'll be right about that age. Um, Wade, uh, you know, you know, plays video games like, is like a huge video gamer kind of guy, you know, um, the sort of arcadey games, that, that's something I absolutely love, you know, and, and of course virtual reality, because that's what the sort of book is about, and I thought to myself, if I could get the chance to audition for the part of Wade Watts or Percival or whatever you want, you know, in um, Ready Player One, I, I thought to myself, if, if I get that chance, that'd be the greatest thing in the world. I'm not asking for the part, I'm asking for the chance. I want to earn this as fairly as anybody else can, you know? Out of however many people audition, hundreds, maybe a couple thousand people audition, and I want to take part in that audition, and I want to be so good that I blow away everybody else. I want the chance to show them that I can be the fucking character that they're looking for. I want that. And I've always thought to myself, you know, if I could, that'd be great. And I was tweeting all the people, you know, Dan Farah and Ernie Klein. Um, and I tried to tweet Spielberg, but he's not on Twitter, I guess. And, like, I, I was going to tweet everybody. I was saying, you know, I want this chance. Please, 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 um, you know, when auditions are a thing, please let me know. I need to know. And I followed them on Twitter, and I continued to follow them on Twitter, even when they just, it looked like it just stopped being a thing. I, I heard nothing about it, but I was just like, I'll follow them on Twitter because I need to know. And I never kind of stopped thinking about it, but it put it in the back of my mind, thinking, 
once I see that someone has been officially cast, I will I will no longer worry about it. You know, it's out of my hands sort of thing. And I'll see it, and it'll be a great movie. And I'll always think to myself, damn, I wish I had that chance. But Ready Player One has auditions, open auditions online. And I saw that, and I literally lost it. Like, that is all I've ever asked for, is the chance to audition, and it's here, in front of me now. It's something that I get to do, and I am so elated. And now, because you have until the 16th, I'm going to take one month or, or like maybe like 15 days. I don't want to, you know, screw up or something. I'm going to take like 15 days and I am going to practice these lines, the sides that were given to me. I'm going to practice them. I'm going to nail them down. I am going to do the best fucking audition I can do. And I am going to get this part. Absolutely. Absolutely gonna get this part. This is so me. God, I just and you know what? It might not be. This might not be the movie where. Uh, where th I mean, there's always a very. I need to come back to me. It's like the chance to win the lottery sort of thing. But what what, what would it be? Because with the lottery, you know, there are a bunch of other people putting tickets, and you know, the chance is one in two million. But this isn't a chance, this isn't one in two million, this is like one in a thousand. What if you, what if somebody was like, oh yeah, the lottery is 1.3 billion dollars, here's the first five numbers. Uh, is it the first, first four numbers I think it is. Here's, or no, how many numbers there are? Anyways, it's like the first four or five numbers, right? Here they are, you just need to figure out the last couple of numbers, and you will win. That's how I feel right now. And it's like, God, I, could you imagine? Could you imagine? This is the video people see when they, they, they Google Matthew Apodaca. Who's that guy in that movie? And they Google Matthew Apodaca and they see this. And they go, oh, okay. That's where he came from. He was sleeping in his car in L.A. in Glendale. And, and now he's in a movie. Could you imagine? If not, then let it be known that I auditioned, and I did the best audition I could possibly do. And don't worry, I will put up a video of it. But I did the best I could, and I hope I fucking killed it. Anyways, I'd like to thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you later, YouTube.